Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the most cost-effective way to buy Data Token. Data is an ERC20 token and is the main token used for the streaming network. It's incorporated for governance, payments in the marketplace, incentivize the network, and delegated to broker nodes. To obtain Data Tokens, we're first going to be buying some Matic, which is the token for the Polygon network. Polygon is the platform which the Data Token is created on. Polygon is available on many platforms such as Binance, KuCoin, Coinbase, Endax, and many others. There's going to be a few steps that we're going to follow in order to obtain the data token. And the first step is to purchase some Matic, which is a Polygon token. Then we're gonna install MetaMask and add the Polygon network and data contract. After we have that installed, we're gonna send our Matic that we purchased to our MetaMask wallet and then use a site called QuickSwap. QuickSwap is gonna allow us to convert Matic to the data token. Now, all the links that I'm gonna be using in this tutorial will be down below in the description. And if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments. I should mention that you can buy data tokens directly on KuCoin and Binance. However, it can only be sent out using the Ethereum network, which can get very, very costly. If you wanna move around data tokens, the most cost-effective way is using the Polygon network, which is significantly cheaper, and that is the method that I'm going to show you. So let's get started. So we're at the KuCoin website, and the simplest, easiest way to do this is buy something called a USDT. That is basically the digital version of the US dollar. It doesn't change in price, and it stays at a constant one for one dollar. Now you have to sign up for KuCoin in order to have an account and make trading. I'll make sure I link it in the description below. Again, you can use any exchange. I'm just using KuCoin because that's the main one that I use. So the first step is just to go over here on the left-hand side and under buy crypto, we're gonna just do a fast trade. This is where we're converting your US dollar to a digital version, which is called USDT. And you can enter in your amount that you want to purchase and it'll subtract its fees. Basically, you're going to just enter in the amount down here of what you want to buy. And then you can go ahead and select a payment option. Uh, they have different payment options like PayPal, wire transfer, or you can use credit card options. And then you can click on buy USDT. So what's that's actually happening right now is you're taking your US dollar and you're converting it to a digital version. And that version is called USDT. DT. It's a stable coin. There are many different types of stable coins. In this particular case, we're just going to be using USDT. Once you've purchased your USDT, you're going to go over to your wallet and into your main account. You're going to search for your USDT and you need to transfer it to your trading account. Now the trading account and the main account is just labels to separate what you're actively trading and what you're storing in your account. There is no transaction fees to trade it from one to another. So right now I just have a dollar in here, but this is just for an example. And I'm going to be transferring it from my main account to my trading account, click on confirm. And now we're ready to buy Matic. So now I'm going to go onto the trading platform and go to spot trading. And inside here up at the top left hand corner, I'm going to be selecting the pair that I want to trade. And that's going to be Matic. And the pair will be listed in here as Matic and USDT. So I'm going to select that. And now we have the option to do a limit order, a market order, or stop limit. The limit order will allow you to set your price. The market order is going to be much simpler and straightforward. So we're going to do that right now. It's going to give us the best market price. And then you enter in the amount. I'm only doing a dollar right now, but you can enter in a couple hundred or whatever you're trying to do. You definitely want to be aware of the fees that are involved. So once you've set that amount, you can click on buy Matic and that order is going to fill. So we're gonna go up here to the menu at the top and we're gonna to go to our trading account. Inside the trading account, we're just gonna type in Matic and you can see the Matic that I purchased here and we're just gonna transfer it from our trading account into our main account. We'll select the maximum amount, click on confirm and we'll just switch back over to our main account and there is our Matic. And now we can withdraw and set it to your MetaMask wallet. Click on withdraw and then the network that you're going to send it on. The network that we're going to be sending it on is the Matic network. Click on confirm. Once you've created the MetaMask wallet, you can then enter in your wallet address and then send it so it appears there. And I'm going to open up my browser here and I'm at the MetaMask website. So I'm going to go ahead and install this by clicking on the download button over here. I'm using Chrome, so I'm going to select Chrome and we'll scroll down a little bit further here and install MetaMask. Add it to Chrome, click on add extension, and there we go. So we have our MetaMask wallet installed. So I'll click on get started. So now if you already have a MetaMask wallet, you can import your wallet. But if you're starting from scratch, we're going to click on create a new wallet. And then we can say, I agree. And we give it a password here. And then we can select the terms of use and then click on create. And now it's talking about securing a wallet. So it's going to give you a secret phrase. You want to make sure that you keep this in a secure location. And then what you're going to do is repeat it back. 
and we have the MetaMask wallet all set up and ready to go. So we'll click on that and we can just close out of this. And here is our wallet. To stake Streamer, we need to make sure that we're on the Polygon network. And by default, the Polygon network is not here. So we have to add that network. And here are the settings for the Polygon mainnet. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that in and I'll be adding a new network and I'll paste it in over here. Okay, and now we have all the information added in here. So we can click on save. We're back at KuCoin and now we're ready to withdraw our funds. So we have the Polygon coin selected. For the wallet address, we're gonna go into our MetaMask wallet and then we're gonna just gonna copy our address and we can go ahead and paste it in here. Confirm that you have the Polygon network selected and then you can enter in the amount of Polygon that you wanna send and transfer it out to your MetaMask wallet. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be swapping the Matic for data tokens. So now we're in quick swap and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna exchange for data tokens. We have Matic selected right now and we're gonna be selecting the data token. So I'm gonna get the address for data tokens. I'm gonna to paste that in here. And here is the data token. I'm gonna click on add. Okay, we have it there. And now we have the data token listed. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna add it to MetaMask so I can easily find it. So I'll click on assets and import the token, paste the same address in here. It's gonna auto populate the other fields. Click on add and then import. And there we go. So we have Matic right now, and we have data right now, and I want 10,000 data tokens. So I'm gonna do 553 Matic, go ahead and click on confirm swap. And we'll also have enough Matic to cover the fees, which is just gonna be a few cents to, for this to go through. There we go, so their transaction's been confirmed and it should show up in our wallet in just a moment. You go under assets, you can see that I have just under 10,000 in here. And we've just completed the whole process of purchasing some data tokens on the Polygon network. So that's how you do it. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you thought this video was useful, please smash that like button. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.